Hey guys, my voice is awesome today, so I thought I would do a video updating you guys a little bit. Uh, it's mostly just been like testosterone updates, but there's actually a lot going on in my life right now, so I figured I should probably make a little video to kind of update you guys on what's going on with all that. Uh, so the first thing, I've been suffering from a lot of depression lately, so probably haven't seen me produce a lot lately. I don't know when that's gonna stop, but there's a lot of reasons for it. Basically right now, we're getting kicked out of our apartment. It's nothing that we did. We were renting a condo and the owners were in Japan or something, and they've decided that they wanted to come back now, and so we're getting thrown out <laughs> so they can come live here. Which, I mean, I understand, like, I have no hard feelings or anything, I understand that completely, but, uh, yeah, so now we're a little bit freaking out because I still can't work, and I've been thinking of forcing myself to go back to work, and I've been looking for jobs, but it's really, really hard when your birth name and your birth sex don't match up, and I can't change my name or my gender on my driver's license, whatever, set number, whatever, that stuff, I can't change that yet because it costs like, I don't know, a hundred dollars or something and we really don't have the money to be spending on things like that right now. My husband might be getting a job that pays him a lot more and if that happens I'll be able to change my name and then I'll be able to get out in the workforce pretty easily I figure because, I mean, hey, <laughs> I'm a really good worker. I might be disabled and I can't do as much as a physically able person could, but I'm a really good worker. I'm always determined and it doesn't matter where I work. I always want to improve the workplace. I want to improve myself and I always want to make sure that the customers leave with a smile on their face because that's what I like to do in life. I like to make people smile. So we don't really know where we're going to end up anymore. I'm really kind of scared because I don't know where we're going. Uh, if my husband gets this job, then we can stay in Winnipeg. Or if I get a job, which it doesn't seem to be happening, then we can stay in Winnipeg. And preferably we'd like to stay around this area, maybe. But I mean, there's a lot of good apartments, so it doesn't matter. There's like some by Cinnaboyne Park and stuff. I'd like that. I like walking. And I can take you guys outside for a vlog for once because that never happens because I don't leave the house. That also could lead to my depression. I don't ever leave the house because I don't have money to do shit. <laughs> and, and I mean, I guess I could just like literally just walk. It's only like an hour walk to Cinnaboyne Park or something. But I'm too scared to go out on my own, especially this part of the transition because I I mean my if my voice stays like this <laughs> which it doesn't usually levels off around the afternoon but if my voice stayed like this I would probably pass pretty well for male but I still am feminine and very very gay so it's not safe for me to walk on my own unless I'm in a big part already and like, if I, it was only like a five minute walk to some point park, then I'd be safe there. I know I, I'd be safe there. There's like so many people, but walking an hour to a Cinnaboyne park is, I don't know, I, I don't feel like that would be safe and I want to stay safe. I'm struggling a lot, um, but I'm keeping positive. Uh, no matter where we end up, we might end up back in Ashram living uh, with my husband's mother again, which is fine because I love her, but <laughs> I don't really enjoy living in Ashram, especially not now, because there was a lot of people who were fine with my transition, like, when I, ca I came out there, and, because I couldn't take it anymore, like, it was killing me inside, and I had to come out, and I came out when I was working at Subway there, and the... My, my boss, she was really, really understanding of it, and she like, she's like, oh yeah, we'll change your name tag, I don't care about Subway's policy, who, who gives a shit? <laughs> like, if it's the name that you identify with, then yeah, I'll change it for you. 
and so she was really good with that. Nobody used my pronouns though, and I don't know. It, it really bugged me being out there. It's a small town, all the customers already knew me, none of them knew me as Seth, uh, and none of them knew me as a male, so yeah, I didn't really get any respect that I deserved. So I don't really want to go back there, but if I have to, I will, and I'll probably be a robot during those times. And I will do my best to stay away from the pharmacy and stay away from the alcohol because uh, that seems to be a big problem with me, uh, with drinking as an escape, which is not good, ever. I mean, going out and drinking with friends, that's different, and I mean, that is that is an escape, it's fun though, and it's, you're enjoying yourself, you're socializing, you're spending time with people, and I mean, to a degree, that's that's okay, but the problem was, back when I was in Ashton, I would buy alcohol, and I'd stay home, and I'd get drunk and trashed, and I'd go on the internet and talk to strangers, and things happen, and it was not good. And I recognize that it was not good, and I don't want to go through that again, so I'm not going to be doing that again. Also, on like a positive note, I want to save up for- oh god, itch and crotch, oh god. I want to save up for the new Rock Band, Rock Band 4, because, I don't know, music is a big part of my life, and I feel like it's a healthy escape, right? Um, I frequently listen to music, I listen to the guitar part, and I'm like obsessed with electric guitar. Yeah, I want to save up for Rock Band 4, and I feel like that will be a good thing, and I might, well, I don't know if I'll record myself playing some songs, but once I perfect it on Expert again, I might, <laughs> I don't know, I might like do like a little challenge thing, I don't know what's going to happen, but I might be able to do something for the channel. We'll see. My voice is already starting to get higher pitched from talking. Sad voice. <laughs> I wish it would just stay in that low range. Why does it have to go higher pitched? But yeah, so right now I'm struggling a lot. And just please be patient with me. Lots of things have happened. We just, we just lost another YouTuber, Daniel, from Syndigo, and that really spiraled me down into a dark place again, and I'm, I'm just climbing out currently, and I'm doing okay right now, but I'm still struggling a lot, so please be patient with me. I guess this vlog is over, and yeah, if you like this video, then good, because you should. God, that sounds weird with my new voice. I'm going to have to come up with a new outro. <laughs> and I'll see y'all later. Bye.